I come from fruit trees, bowed down in autumn heat. Drag golden hills, laurel floating on the breeze. From rumbling earth and seismic graphs, suspension bridges that bow and sway. I come from the ashes of what was begun. What will begin again? I come from polished high heeled shoes, pastel blouses, lipstick, and a red shoe. Peacocks and bulls on our family tree, framed in glass over a couch, under vinyl covering. What will begin again? What will begin again? I come from the ashes of what was begun. What will begin? Welcome, welcome to this live stream here at Studio Trad. Um, I'm so glad to have Gertjan van Hellemont and Troy Ammerlink with me um, to play through a bunch of music because, wow, when was the last time I got to play music with people? <laughs> so great. So fun. Um, so that was from the ashes from the Laura Cortese and the Dance Cards album, Bitter Better. And we're going to play now two brand new songs right? One after the other. Um, I wrote the first one with my good friend Rose Cousins. It's called I Get It Now. Debut performance. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I get it now. I get it now. 
I get it now. <laughs> and uh, this next one is called Spend the Night. And it is a song that I co-wrote with Steve Poltz um, during Americana Fest. I guess 2019 would have had to have been when it was. Um, and yeah, I, I showed up at Steve Poltz's house and we sat across from each other across a little table and now I think about how close that was that we actually got to be in and that moment when we were writing I thought there's a table between us wouldn't it be nicer if we were closer together hmm. I have a whole <laughs> different thought about that now and um yeah so we and he had a, a, a nice guitar part all worked out and we spontaneously came up with this song spend the night and uh yeah another debut performance it's a big night Big night. Afternoon. <laughs> By night, I mean afternoon. But the, the vibe is night. <laughs>
tried to second guess I don't feel like I'm at my best And I'm trying to forgive you It isn't the how but the wondering why The clock keeps counting my wasted time And I'm trying hard things are done. Well, <laughs> well, who knows? I shouldn't say that too soon. But um, <laughs> well, I um, I'm excited to be playing music, as I said earlier, and I, I'm hoping that there's some people out there watching and commenting. And obviously, we're in this beautiful setting here at Studio Trad, and we don't have any computers in front of us to follow these comments. But I promise I will go <laughs> look at look at the comments later and rep reply and, and see what you thought. I am really interested, especially um, in this configuration this is may maybe the first time i would say we have played together so. in other contexts all of us but never in this trio so it's it'll be nice to hear what you all think of that um or not, or not. yeah maybe you'll hate it and then i'll just be like well shut up we're not friends anymore <laughs> um so we're gonna do uh another song off bitter better now and called Where the Fox Hides. Where the fox hides, I wanna know. Where the fox hides, I wanna go. Why does he ever been anyway? All I wanna do is play. people um have said they wondered if i had written that as a 
as a song for children, but in fact, no, I didn't. But I will tell you, I have a new baby girl, and she likes that song. <laughs> so maybe it can double. It can double. This is called When We Rocked. Yeah, I haven't gotten to play all these songs from Bitter Better out and tell people the stories, but When We Rocked is uh, about when I, I met my partner and we were on a boat in the middle of the North Sea coming back from the Shetland Folk Festival. And it's basically just a series of facts. Is that where you meet most people? Yeah. <laughs> all of my lovers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, but uh, yeah. It's the Shetland Folk Festival, if you ever get a chance to go. In fact, as soon as you're free to go, I would just get yourself there. It is a totally magical experience. Even if you don't meet, you know, the love of your life on the boat on the way home, I can still vouch for the experience. <laughs> for the music nerds out there, we've changed the meter <laughs> of this tune from the album. So don't be confused. Nerd alert! When we rock on the water Looking out to see How to get to be morning Hold my hand a little longer When we rock on the water We haven't slept for days next guys what's next oh i know we can we can so i released this song in the fall of 2019 and it features douglas furs also known as <laughs> start maybe Mom. 
California calling.
cowboy king and his golden queen. to sing that with you guys. <laughs> um, we'll do a, a delicate one now. I think it's one of the first ones we ever sung together. Yep. On perhaps my first trip to Belgium, I think. That's when it was. Um, or maybe even in Portland. Did we sing it there? Did the song exist? Maybe not, yeah. So I, I'll tell you, we have time, so I will tell you. I met this gentleman here at a venue called Sam Bond's Garage in Eugene, Oregon, because of an accidental double booking. And, well, you never know when someone says, there's going to be this band from Belgium and they're going to open the show because we double booked them. And you think, okay, what is a band from Belgium like? <laughs> <laughs> it turned out they were really good and really fun. And uh, after the show, we hung out in the parking lot singing songs by this big honeysuckle plant um, in May. It was in May, so it was like sweet smell of honeysuckle in the air, singing songs in the parking lot. And then years later, after the boat trip, when I first came to Belgium to see the fellow that I met after the Shetland Folk Festival who's sitting out there somewhere, um, I called up my friends that I had met in the parking lot. <laughs> In Eugene, Oregon, and I said, gosh, I'm, I'm coming to Belgium. Shall we play some music together? <laughs> Maybe we should do it. And so eventually we did get to do that, and uh, we sang this song. It's called Skipping Stone. Do you have anything to add about our, well, our meeting? Well, it was... Uh, turned out we lived in the same town. The guy. Yeah, as the guy. And that is, that, is, that is a very important detail of the story. When a guy on a boat says... I live in Ghent, Belgium, and you say, oh, I think I know a few people that live in Ghent, Belgium, <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, and it turns out one of the people was uh, the daughter of his Latin teacher in high school. <laughs> and then you think, how big is Ghent? <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's really beautiful. You should all visit. <laughs> I held it in my hand. 
Yeah. Well, it's officially now spring out there, although it doesn't necessarily feel so much like it today. I hope somewhere someone is experiencing a warm day, a glass of rosé. Maybe I'll experience that myself <laughs> later. Um, who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm. It has come uh, to the time for us to play our last song. I will say I am curious in, in if you can leave in the comments all the ways that you like to mark the beginning of spring. I have, um, you know, learned that I start to buy myself flowers. Why don't I buy them for myself in the winter? Maybe I'll change that next winter. There, but are, I, there are no flowers in the winter. Well, but, I mean, I don't, I mean, I can't pick them out of my garden in the winter, but I can buy flowers that were expensively made with lots of electricity, you know. <laughs> in the, yeah, but anyways, I buy myself flowers and I tend to start buying bottles of rosé. Do you have anything you do to mark the beginning of spring? I look at the garden. Ah. You look at the garden and you hope and that I your forsythia <laughs> begins to <laughs> yeah, blossom. Yeah, forsythia is fine, but the grapes oh. I keep tiny for two years now. Oh. They need to start growing. This is the year. Maybe. This is the year. I, I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I hope we can get a big virtual applause out there for Kurtjan van Helmont <laughs> and Troy Amerlink. <laughs> oh, even a real live one. <laughs> um, and we'll finish up our live stream here from Studio Trad on uh, a song from Bitter Better. It's called Typhoon. We all start together, don't we? Oh, love it. <laughs> I miss you when I play by myself. <laughs> One, two, three, four.
Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you sooner than I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. get it now <laughs> and uh, this next one is called spend the night and it is a song that I co-wrote with Steve Poltz um, during Americana Fest I guess 2019 would have had to have been when it was um, and yeah I, I showed up at Steve Poltz's house and we sat across from each other across a little table and now I think about how close that was that we actually got to be in and that moment when we were writing I thought there's a table between us wouldn't it be nicer if we were closer together hmm. I have a whole <laughs> different thought about that now and um, yeah so we and he had a, a, a nice guitar part all worked out and we spontaneously came up with this song spend the night and uh, yeah another debut performance it's a big night Big night. Afternoon. <laughs> By night, I mean afternoon. But the, the vibe is night. <laughs> I can't let go I 
want to move fast, but it's going slow, and I'm trying to forgive you.